Right, first attempt with this, so I probably won't even use this material like right? I'm gonna try and go along now, I've never tried this loop before. So I'm going to come out of the way. Get up there. You never thought about this one before. It's wider, so hang across. Let's go into the other. There we go. Come on, lad. Yo! -ho! Treats or what? Right, so what's that taught me today? Well, it's taught me that the drought is worse than the heat wave, yeah? I've seen two plants with droopy leaves and I've never had droopy leaves. I've had droopy eyes, mate, because I'm tired as hell. I'll tell you why later, but I found out that you've got to get them fed. And also, I've not been feeding, I've been relying on the compost that I originally put in and then one boost of uh, miracle grow about four or five about five or six weeks ago that was the four weeker one i've gone now with a one week one they do it every what every week i'm going to come down here every 10 days work or no work whenever that day may land and i'm going to boost them so my next video is going to be in two weeks on a saturday and we'll see what that fucking dose of the miracle grow can do by the end of August, mate, I want fucking, like, bear hog and fucking over my head or around about here. You know what I'm saying? They will be. The thing is, I've got nine big boys, which are 14 and 13 weeks old exactly. I've got the videos to prove it. Um, so I'm not late in the game at all. I'm big in the game on those. The phase three, they vote, they're only, like, five, five weeks old, six weeks old. The thing I've learned with growing is people offer all the advice and that and it is in some of it is great advice but at the end of the day you've just got to wait and see and see it out. I've, I've had so much with my grows um, in the past, me and dog grows and they've come out good. You know I've done some it well, I thought I've done it wrong, I thought I've done it wrong and it's come out good. There's a lot of external factors you can't control. The genetics of your seed, the way the genetics of your seed react to the ground that they're in, all sorts of shit like that. The temperature that the, the, that strain likes, everything. I could hit a few fucking monsters. I absolutely love this sort of temperature and climate and humidity and blah blah blah. And then I could hit some that don't like it and don't flower so big. This is an experiment for next year when I'm on the road, September the 15th this year. Jay, Captain, is on the road and you know we're going to have some fun. We're going to Europe, mate. We're going to fucking do some funny things. We're going to plant up in, I don't know, I might even do a fucking grow in Europe, mate. Go back and see it every month. Peace up, love up. Let's keep things going. Let's keep the vibe chilling. Comments have been great. Only a few tosses. I like it, I like it. Book fanny pack, love ya. <laughs> That's me, really. Love it. Peace out. This is the most peppery amnesia haze I've probably ever smoked. Which made me think, is it any good? But definitely gets you stoned, so what can you say? I'm going home. This has probably been my last beer, mate. I'm going home for fucking juicy drinks and a nice munch out, mate. I'm not a fucking tear it up fucking drinker anymore. Oh, never really was. So, it's just a look whether they get found or not. If these don't get found, something's going to happen because those bud sites don't emerge for no reason. Those bud sites emerge, they get bigger and bigger, and then flower time comes, the pistols start shooting out, and it's go time. And I will be using a damn good flower. Watch this space. They've only just begun. Mm -mm 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 -mm.